Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to hide likes on your own post on Facebook and on other people's post on Facebook. Very simple, brand new feature, let's dive in. First thing, you want to launch the Facebook app. Then you want to go to your own profile. When you're on your own profile, you want to head to the top right corner where you see the gear icon and then you want to go on settings and privacy. This brand new feature is located into the preference tab. Here you will find a brand new section that is called reaction preferences. You want to click on reaction preferences and here you will have this brand new two options. First option is if you want to hide the likes of other people's posts. If I click this on, now, when you see a post from friends, you're not going to see how many likes. Uh, you're not going to see potential reactions. Somebody loved it, somebody hated it. You know how these new features of reactions actually work. If you read deeply, the explanation from Facebook is that you won't see the total number of reactions. In other words, likes, dislikes, you know, love emojis. On other people's newsfeed, pages and groups, you still we'll see reaction counts for posts in other places like Marketplace or for content like Reels. You see, your reactions to a post will still be visible to you and everyone else. This means that when you like or dislike something, some posts on Facebook, you're going to see it. You're going to see your own actions, your own reaction, but any other post or reaction will simply be hidden for you. The second option over here is that you can hide your own reactions as well on your own post. Look at this. If you click this on, other people won't see the total number of reactions under posts you share to your profile. You post a picture, for example, you got 100 likes. Well, no one can see it. How many likes or dislikes this image got? Also, they're saying, according to Facebook, is that reaction counts will still appear on your post in other places like groups or other content like Reels. Meaning that if you double share the same exact piece of content once on your profile and once on Reel, well, on Reel, likes, dislikes and comments will appear for everyone. You cannot hide it from there, but you can simply hide it from your own feed. This is how you hide likes from your post and from other people's posts on Facebook. Then I want you to click on the lower right corner at your profile picture. Then I want you to click on the top right corner at the gear icon. When you're at your settings and privacy menu, I want you to click on the first menu, which is account center. When you're at account center, I want you to click on the account settings menu, the option number two, which is personal details. When you add personal details, <clears throat> I want you to click on account ownership and control. When you're at account ownership and control, you can click the deactivation button, which is the second one. Deactivation will simply means that your account will be temporarily deactivated. And the reason for it is that you might want to go off social media. Social media, you might be uh, off for particular reasons. You might hide particular content. So the people will not be able to find your account when the account is deactivated. Even people that have your link to your account, the account simply will not be showing. Uh, on Messenger, if you keep the Messenger up, the icon with your profile picture will turn gray and we will lose its its profile picture on messenger the 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 main difference between the deleting or deactivating the account is that with deactivation your data and your files and, and your history will be saved right the moment you go back and reactivate the account by simply logging in uh, everything will go back to normal uh, you want to click on the top right corner where is the gear icon. You click on the gear icon and now we are in the settings and privacy. You want to scroll down and due to the recent updates, things are very, very easy to find. Let's click on privacy checkup right over here. When you click on privacy checkup, the first option that you want to focus and make your account private, completely private, is to click on the who can see what you share. Very easy. Click on the first one. 
and there you have it. Here you will be able to change the privacy on every public information that you currently have, including posts and stories, including your audience, meaning your friends, who is your friend and who you are actually following, including the public pages, who is actually tagging you on what, all the content that you're currently tagged in and all the blockings, right? Everyone who currently is blocked on your blocking list, everything could actually be hidden. All you gotta do is to click continue and there you have it. You will have the option to make, first of all, the contact information, your email. You can create a privacy uh, curtain behind when is your birthday, when when you was born, right? You can hide your relationship status. You can hide your current city, your education, your friends, your following, your posts. Absolutely every piece of content that is currently public or limited to friends or to particular parts of your friends could simply be made private you understand the power of this new update from facebook which simply allows you to take over full control and you can make you know in a matter of minutes all of your content all of your information all of your public presentation completely private and people will be having a hard time even finding your account when they google to use trello what you're going to do is you're going to click on create and you can actually create a board. So you're going to click on create a board. And once you click on create a board, you're you know going to answer any board title for yourself and uh, get that board up and running. Now, once you get that board up and running, so let's say I've created this board for myself, right? I'm going to go straight into this board. It's going to look somewhat like this, okay? Now, how do you add things in this? So to add components, first of all, you're going to click on list and look at that. You can add lists for yourself. So... You know, it's pretty easy to add lists. Then in the lists, you can add cards and just keep on adding more cards. And to edit those cards, you're going to click on them and uh, you can change their descriptions. You can change their activity statuses and uh, you can change every other aspect of it, like members, labels, checklist, dates, attachment, cover, custom fields, dependency, estimation, and all these things. You know, pretty straightforward and pretty easy stuff to get your head around let's say for example you're into politics okay <laughs> i know let's say you want to get this video from yesterday's debate right and you want to cut this video into 10 small shorts now what we're gonna do we're gonna click on the three dots under the video and then we're gonna click share we're gonna copy the link okay pay attention this video it's uh, around 10 minutes long okay now, after we copy the link, I want you to go on Google Chrome and I want you to find this app over here. It's called Opus Pro. Okay, it's not Opus AI. I, I see this many people making this mistake coming on Opus AI. It's Opus Pro. Okay, you want to click on Opus Pro and this is where you're going to sign up for free and you're going to paste the link that we just copied okay the main point over here is that they will generate 10 short videos and they're going to send you an email when the videos are ready you don't have to stay on this page at all so just paste the link click get clips over here and they're going to send you 10 shorts the shorts will look like this with uh, captions uh, you can select the styles and the post, each post will be coming with a ranking, ranked from 1 to 10 with the highest chance of getting viral, okay? Number 1 will be the highest chance of the video getting viral, number 10 will be the less likelihood. And they will be coming with small uh, description, right? So you can actually use it. It's very, very easy, guys. Again, it's free. You will have a certain amount of credits, okay? So after you run out of credits, then you can opt in for the uh, paid subscription and other version with unlimited credits. But essentially, this is how you start. Just uh, get your feet wet, see what works for you, what doesn't, and then move on. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In today's video, we're going to go through the Copilot AI Assistant from Bing. Uh, AI Copilot is simply helping you to analyze and distinguish a very complicated material, studying material that can simply analyze information for you and give you analysis. Uh, let's dive into the actual functions and let's see what is 
the main point of using the copilot versus using the uh, Bing chat AI or using Bing AI or using chat GPT. So in our example over here, we are going to ask what were the top performing stocks in 2024, 2023, excuse me. Now we're sending, uh, you know, the algorithm going back through the whole Bing search, try to identify the top performing US stocks, okay? Just look at this, the top performing stocks in 2023 among the companies that trade in the major US exchanges with capitalization of at least $1 billion were Gene Medical International, 3,000%. Solenotherapeutics, okay. Carvana, 1000% Carvana, my dear friends. Okay, Bridge Pile. Oh, that's amazing, guys. So, you see how you can get any financial information, and they also give you a couple of links underneath. How about best performed? crypto in 2023 let's see can we get some information about the cryptocurrencies as well it's very very interesting and then guys we're going to ask for particular suggestions or predictions the best performing cryptocurrencies of 2023 with the market cap of at least 300 million were conflux 700 percent guys injective 600 percent Singularity Net 400%, Render Token, Solana 161, Bitcoin 152, Ripple 127, Compound 126, Autos, Lido, unbelievable. So guys, here is how you can actually extract financial information very quick with just like a couple of clicks without the need to spend an hours, you know, going through different analysis or trying to find uh, something that is uh, spread within like different blocks, different charts. With two, three clicks, you get where you're going. Can you can you tell us what are the market expectations for these stocks and cryptos in 2024? Right now, we want to get what Wall Street is saying, what analysts are saying, what advisors are saying. You know, these people are going on CNBC to the talking and all this has been left as a, as a uh, interview information on the net. So let's see, can Bing actually go out and find this and, you know, interface. Searching for, okay, market expectations. Doing good. Actually, I would say that now the copilot is doing very, very well, much better than you know, asking for a business plan or something of sort of. Okay, now when we ask a very detailed information and in using the precise setting on the filter, uh, this is how you go. You get things done, guys. Now, the copilot is extracting the information about what uh, is the market set as a ratings buy sell. And they also give us the expectations for the price target. So they're expecting, you know, the highs and the lows. Uh, they're expecting, you know, the stock to outperform beat previous year or, you know, simply reach its peak and, and converge. So this is something very interesting. This is how you extract majority of the information, guys. I would say this is probably one of the best prompts, the best way to utilize the copilot so far I've seen. And, you know, you need to know exactly which AI tool is doing the best job in what, so you can differentiate your choices when you have a multitasking. For more videos like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. Free AI video generator. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a free AI video in the easiest, most simplest way possible. So basically in this video, what I'm going to be doing is uh, we're going to be talking about Synthesia in a very quick way. So Synthesia is basically a generation platform where you can create an AI video using these AI models over here. 
uh, and some texts, okay? And it's totally free, no credit card required. Just sign up with their page and uh, they give you 140 plus avatars, 120 plus uh, languages and accents, and 60 plus pre-designed templates. You can also create your own avatar, but that does take some cost. But yeah, this is how it's gonna look. They're gonna give you a standard avatar. You can add videos over it, and then you can also add text prompts under it. So Synthesia.io, use it right now and get the best free video AI generations. Thank you for watching, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make the any type of YouTube video in the easiest way using this platform called Pictoria AI. So first of all, to start things off, Pictoria AI was made for YouTube creators, you know, because Pictoria, as it says, uses the AI technology to give you one of the greatest things and elements to improve your video editing and video creation. Now, why do YouTubers actually love picking Pictory? So obviously, you can create a faceless YouTube channel or you can edit videos of yourself of speaking into a camera. Pictory gives you all the solutions. You get a powerful AI assistant where you can do text to speech. You can do actual, uh, you know, copywriting. You have resizing and it does not blur the video out. It does not kill the pixels. It has a media library of massive number of elements. There's so many things that you can work with. And then, you know, you can get a text to speech AI with the right voice to give your faceless YouTube channel a big punch. Then it's PC and Mac compatible. So any compatibility works. You can, you know, start from text, paste your scripts and get a text to speech. You can get recorded videos of yourself. You get customized branding settings and then you can preview, generate and share different videos for yourself. So it's really fun to use this and it's really fun to get your head around these types of features for yourself. OK, so that's the general idea of using Pictory. And uh, that is how you can create videos on YouTube with Pictory AI. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all of you next time. Goodbye. Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use DALI image generator inside the Canva app. It's a little different. Uh, we did a couple of videos prior. We made a couple of uh, examples and case studies. If you're curious, you can see our results. We create a brand image. We create a couple of uh, prototypes for products. So you can check out these videos as well. In today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how to create something different. So the first thing you want to come over here at canva.com and you want to click on apps. Then you want to go over and find DALI. So how are you going to go over here about simply choosing creating something from scratch like we're going to do over here or using an existing design. If you already had certain projects in Canva, you can simply import them here. Let's click on use a completely new design. And in this example over here, guys, we are going to create uh, Instagram story and this Instagram story will be different simply because we're going to utilize something that no one expects to see remember Instagram stories are really something that you have experienced or something that you saw on the street somewhere it's extraordinary it's right here right now happening okay so we're going to set a command create a story image where uh, person walks walks in the jungle and sees uh giant monkey make it look like it's a selfie taken image pretty complicated script pretty complicated prompt let's see what are the results the main difference is that dali will only give you two variations of the actual creation while if you use a magic uh, studio here on Canva, you're gonna, going to get four, and I think this is hilarious. Okay, so I think uh, people will be clicking on the second one most likely. It's not perfect, it's not amazing. I honestly like more magic uh, studio AI, 
I have uh, made plenty of videos on it. You can guys check it out and see what we actually get out of it. That it's okay. It's not perfect. For more tips like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi guys, in today's video, I am going to show you how to use NVIDIA AI. There is a link pinned in the comments. This is my affiliate link. You can guys use it to sign in, to log in and to use it to explore the app. There is a free plan that you can actually guys use. So go ahead and if you're interested, I want to make sure that you learn more about it. Let me give you a brief overview of the app. This is where you're going to come and you're going to log in or create your account. There is two options to do it. First of all, we got to break down that there is a mobile app for NVIDIA for the iOS, okay, for the iPhones. And there is a desktop version which everyone knows, everyone uses. So when you click on try NVIDIA AI, this is where you're going to be prompt to use your Gmail account, your Apple ID or your Gmail. Okay, you can log in with your Google account as well. So essentially, you want to make sure that before you sign up, you know exactly what are the plans and how NVIDIA actually works. Let me give you a quick rundown. Okay, first of all is the free plan. The free plan gives you 10 minutes of work with AI generative. Okay, so this will give you 10 minutes. That's it. I know it's very, very little. That's the free plan. But you, you're going to get the 10 gigabytes of storage for exports with the watermark of NVIDIA, of course, and 2.5 million of standard media. So you're not going to get the iStock, but you're going to get like a standard media. Pieces of content that probably a lot of people already downloaded, created and uploaded somewhere else. So it's not going to be your best shot, but something that you can play, you can see how is it, how does it work, you know, you can practice. The second plan is the plus $20 a month. You're going to get 50 minutes of AI generative. You're going to get 80 stock uh, footages, stock content per month. You're going to get 100 gigs of storage. You're going to get unlimited exports and you're going to get up to one user. The last plan is the most expensive, guys. It's $48 a month. This plan gives you 200 minutes of AI generative and you're going to get 320 different iStock uh, content pieces this is going to be per month again you're going to get 400 gigs of storage you're going to get unlimited exports but still you're going to get up to one user so for corporates for multi-account uh, logins you gotta contact them check out the link in the in the comment that is pinned guys if you are interested and if you want to explore the app for more tips and tricks like this subscribe and come back for more Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use DALI inside the Canva app. Very easy, very simple. The first step, of course, will be to log in into your Canva account. And then you have to go to discover app section. When you come over here, guys, you want to click on the filter on the top over here. And you want to filter all the apps uh, with the AI powered. So this will help you to see all the current apps that are using AI and they're producing content based on the AI. So in this example, I'm going to use DALI. We made probably 15 different videos yesterday on uh, Magic Studio from AI Image Generator from Canvas. So guys, you want to make sure that you check these videos as well. Let's jump into DALI. Let's click on it. The way how DALI works inside Canva is that you will have the option to edit uh, already pre-made content, picture, video, or you essentially can create a brand new design over here. For this example, I am going to click uh, new design. So guys, we're going to create a logo with DALI, okay? So if you didn't use DALI prior, DALI is a little different if you, uh, <clears throat> if you use the other AI tools. Uh, because DALI over here doesn't have any additional filters. So everything what you type in the prompt will be what you're going to get. With Magic uh, Studio, we had an option where you choose the style. Is it going to be animation? Is it going to be vintage look like? So it's like a different styles, different designs. Also, you have an option to change the aspect ratio with Magic uh, Studio. Here, it's pretty random, but the results sometimes are amazing. So in this video, guys, I'm going to show you how you can create something cool. So we're going to ask Dali to create 
a an electric scooter an electric scooter okay based on tesla based on tesla's car design okay and also we are going to see make it as realistic as realistic as possible for product prototype boom let's generate and let's see what results we're going to get with dali we're going to get only two variations of the prompt in terms of content with uh, magic studio you're going to get four each time also the crates that you're going to get with dali are much less uh, versus the crates you're going to get with magic media so now as you can see over here we can still change the results by simply adding more inside our prompt as a text but we can click on the image itself and we can essentially drag the edges so we can make it larger from one side to the other the good thing that is because it's generated from ai it is not going to reduce the quality of the actual image it's not like the usual jpegs okay so now if i zoom out guys you will see that yeah it is not perfect it is not amazing i would say it looks uh futuristic but definitely not what i was expecting uh <clears throat> i think probably if we if we did it if we did uh, a little more uh description and probably if we had a little more context towards the prototype probably we could have a better results but essentially guys this is how you are going to use the whole dali with canva and this is how you can utilize the prompts learn from my mistakes and make even better content guys for more videos like this subscribe and like this video